Okay, I did some breeding last time. And that was part of... Where did Deke go? What? Oh, there he is. It's part of Deke's quest. And... Pavelio. I got this guy, which is a Hippogriff offspring, and then I got the Thestral offspring. However, I don't know what you're supposed to do with them. They haven't really grown up. I can collect materials from them, but I don't know if they mature or if you're supposed to sell them or what's the point in breeding. Uh, I guess, I guess it's like an AFK farm. I don't know. Anyways, last time I got a quest from Sebastian telling me to meet him in the Undercroft, so I'm going to go visit him. So he's down over here. How do we get there? I guess from the library, maybe. Central Hall. Nope, I feel like this is going to be really far. There we go, there's the Undercroft. I wasn't too far. Alright, it's Sebastian. You'll never believe what I- What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Lumos. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. What happened to his cloak? I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well- I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, Those as buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. 
That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Let's just go with this. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Lumos. I guess that's the end of that one. I didn't really get a quest update. I'm gonna go learn Bombardo. Acquire a theory claw with the knapsack and then acquire a purple toad. Okay. Where do I find these guys? Oh, it actually marks it. Interesting. So I gotta go all the way over here. Ah, oh, this looks close. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Away, High Wing! Away! Faster, High Wing! No need to race now, my friend. Oh, what the heck? Let me answer. Do cooperate, won't you? I wonder if Arresto Momentum is the play for these guys. Which one is it? Oh, I don't have Arresto Momentum. I do, I do. Okay. Rebellion. This looks intriguing. Arresto Momentum. Okay, that's way better. Oh, never mind. That should do for that guy, and then how far is that? We have a foo flame, not really. I'm gonna track to the foo flame and then go over to the quest. Let's go! Come on, High Wing! A castle must have been quite stately. I know. Protect. I'll make you wish you were back at school. Now that I have the Foo Flame, time to go get these toads. Revelio. 
Have some enemies. There's the toads. I'm gonna use Arresto Momentum. Arresto Momentum! Alright, nice. Assignment's all finished. Revelio. I'm gonna get one more before going back. Arresto Momentum! Professor Howen will never believe this. Alright, nice. Now to go back to Hogwarts and attend class. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. I take it you're ready to... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. All right, we got is this a bombarda. Deals heavy damage on impact, accompanied with an explosion that can destroy heavy obstacles and hit surrounding enemies. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. The poor pumpkins. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Ooh, Bombarda. Bombarda. Oh, that's a nice spell. Alright. Put back to Sendo. And then... Put back Levioso. All right, let's see what the next quest is. This is meet with Poppy. Go oh, all the way up here. I'll go get this food flame and then go to Poppy. I think the hippogriff is faster. Or maybe not, maybe they're the same speed? Not too sure.
Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Oh, is that a centaur? What? <gasps> a centaur! Tread carefully. Hide yourself, Poppy. You're gonna die. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. Oh, can I raid them? Maybe? I can't even go there. But can I? No, not really. Unfortunate. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. Revelio. Hmm, it seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelts. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. 
But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. Rebellion. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Time to get a better lay of the land. My eyes are clean as a nipples on a pile of gold, or a log tail to a sound. to find out. Dragon Fighting Ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now. And the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard cotton. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. That's it. I bet it's the word. Don't know what Victor was thinking, striking a bargain with him. We want to go through this door? We can't. Ooh. Who's gonna win? My bet is on the horn tail. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round? Well, well, well. Ah, they say we go too far. The virus is gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Now our ramrock stomach's being near Rookwood. Foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. Someone's going to regret this trespassing. One in the village. 
heard something. Got some more goals over here. Wow, two gold. Oh, can I free the goats? I can't. Even got a hippogriff trapped here, and one of these guys. Avalia. I don't think I can rescue them. Anyone looking for troubles, found it in me. Did you hear those weapons? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? I guess no more sneaking around, time to just go right in. Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Why am I walking so slowly? Alohomora. I have the egg. Revelio. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Does this mean I can raise dragons? Maybe? Possibly? Can't collect that. Okay. Um, defeat the bunkers.
Super D in black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. <sighs> what now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? Lewis. I shall see you back at the castle. All right, nice. We just rescued a dragon, got a dragon egg, and this looks like a good place to stop for now.